my name's Rudy. I am the EVP of technology here at Yeti. Agile development is kind of a group of people working on building a product, trying to iterate on new features and functionality quickly so that we're able to estimate the scope and really define what we're about to build next instead of about worrying about a large timeline with a ton of features and how long that might take and going past deadlines or overcomplicating what you're building. The goal usually is to push those features live so that they can start adding value to your product and you can start getting feedback so that feedback loop can kind of go into your next sprint. So depending on the team, a sprint can be anywhere between one, two, or three weeks. Most often two weeks seems to be the ideal de facto sprint. Agile is really focused on chunking up the work into small definable pieces where waterfall is essentially a much longer process where there are many features trying to be built at once. Whereas with Agile, the idea is to dial back that process just into focused periods where you're trying to build the features right away uh, in a small time period to quickly add value also so you can quickly change the direction of the product or what you're working on if uh, priorities change. If we're starting a new project, the Agile process can look a bit different. Normally, if we're building the product from scratch, there's a bit more of workshopping uh, and some kind of like planning and strategy type things we do here in the office with the client and also with the team before we kind of dive into some serious build sprints and we've even come up with kind of names for the different sprints. We have build sprints which I just mentioned during the course of the sprint where we're focused a lot more on the actual like mock-ups, implementing the features, getting something working, a loop in the product working and sprints at the end of a new engagement might be more focused on validating what we've built so far and then checking back in with our client multiple times through the sprint and also with the sprint review at the end to make sure uh, what we built is what they were envisioning and that it's ready to launch to production for their customers to start using. An agile development team can have varying numbers of different kinds of people inside of the sprint team, but usually you're working with at least a developer, a designer, and some kind of PM or product slash project management related person, and it really depends on where you're working. But the goal of each of those people is to uh, build out whatever uh, feature, whatever stories you're working on that sprint, uh, getting feedback and working closely with the designer on how those features are supposed to fit in the product, how they're supposed to function, and then also working with the PM on trying to figure out what are the priorities for the sprint. Is it going to add value to the user? Is it in line with what the users were expecting or the feedback we were getting? Uh, as well as maybe aligning with your company's focus as a whole. The PM can act as like the conduit to other people in the company and keeping them in the know of what your smaller team is working on. A team of people really benefit from switching to Agile from Waterfall, uh, just in the constant communication and collaboration that is essentially forced upon you by entering an Agile uh, type of methodology. Basically, uh, in, in Waterfall, it can be very easy for anyone sitting on more of the strategic or higher level at a company to not know what's going on from the day-to-day -day on what people are producing that are working on the specific design and development teams, for example. Designers can bring a lot to the table for developers, developers can bring a lot to the table for designers, and these PMs can help communicate what's going on on a now a, a bi-weekly basis to people maybe higher up in the company or other stakeholders in sales and marketing, uh, doing other things where they can come in and sit on these sprint reviews and actually see what's being produced. Definitely in the past, the systems or the platforms that you were programming for were a lot more limited and there were rigorous specifications on how this was supposed to work and like where this program was supposed to run. Now that there's so many languages that you can write in, technologies to use, 
places where the application should run. I think definitely the need to be able to quickly react in agile based sprints is important. If you were working in some half a year to year long waterfall process before you could really release something, technologies might change over the course of that year that you could have taken advantage of if you were sprinting and you could have changed direction and decided to incorporate one of these technologies. But if all of the, the cogs are in motion in this year long process, it's much harder to be able to make some of those decisions and changing directions as quickly. In the beginning of Yeti, we were working under a waterfall type development model. It was the standard for the industry for a long time, where it makes sense that designers, uh, they try to create a bunch of mock-ups, uh, developers don't want to waste any of their development time. They have this feeling like, I want to know how things need to be before I start developing. And with an agile methodology, often, oftentimes things you built, you wrote, need to get broken back down and rewritten because we're iterating quickly and trying to find out like what's the best feature, what's the best way for this to be implemented. So it's, it's thought about in the past that waterfall is better and more efficient, but it was quickly found out Ultimately, Agile leads to better products, more quality products, products that provide more value to users, and also allows us to execute on what we're building on time, and always meet our deadlines, have quality code, have quality polished UI and features that we're giving back, so the next sprint can be that much more successful. Agile development. Agile development. Agile development. Agile development. Agile development. <laughs>